hello guys how are you hope you're all fine um before we jump into this could you like please say hello in the comment section because honestly honestly i cannot believe you all exist i'm at like 980 subscribers right now and i cannot believe you guys actually exist it's amazing and of course i'm really 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 thankful to you all uh, but okay anyways uh, like we always do mccarthy gets into the darkest places of human nature painting a very stark and haunting portrait of existence and his philosophy which is deeply rooted in nihilism challenges readers to confront the harsh realities of life and the relentless march towards the oblivion and at the heart of mccarthy's dark philosophy lies a profound sense of nihilism the belief that life is meaningless that it has no purpose and in many of his novels uh, what the hell did i just say in many of his novels such as the road mccarthy portrays a world stripped bare of any hope or redemption and violence and suffering leaks through every single page serving as a dark reminder of humans inherent capacity for cruelty and destruction now one of the most striking aspects of mccarthy's writing is his unflinching portrayal of violence in blood meridian the character judge holden embodies this brutality serving as an image of evil itself his chilling monologues and ruthless actions force readers to confront the darkest depths of human uh, nature as the judge in the novel declares war endures as well ask men what they think of stone war was always here before man was war waited for him the ultimate trader waiting its ultimate practitioner in the same sense in the road mccarthy presents a world ravaged by an an unnamed disaster where survival is a constant struggle against the both the elements and the corruption of fellow survivors and the father and son who are heroes in the novel navigate a desolate landscape that is devoid devoid of hope and their journey serving as a metaphor for the futility of existence in the face of of course definite death as the father reflects nobody wants to be here and nobody wants to leave mccarthy's philosophy is further underscored by his sparse and haunting prose which uh, lends itself to a sense of existential dread and his use of language is deliberate and economical yet imbued with a profound sense of foreboding through his vivid imagery and descriptions mccarthy transports readers to a world on the brink of collapse where the line between humanity and savagery blurs beyond re- recognition in no country for old men um, mccarthy explores the concept of faith and the futility of human agency and the character anton embodies this fatalistic world view which is operating as an unstoppable force of nature driven by his own twisted sense of morality <laughs> as anton declares you think when you wake up in the morning yesterday don't count but yesterday is all that does count what else is there your life is made out of the days it's made out of nothing else throughout his body of work <laughs> mccarthy offers no easy answers or comforting illusions and said he presents a stark and uncompromising vision of reality one in which humanity is at once capable of great beauty and unspeakable horror in the face of such darkness mccarthy's philosophy calls upon readers to confront the fundamental questions of existence what is the nature of evil what gives life meaning in the absence of god or morality is there any hope to be found in a world consumed by despair ultimately mccarthy's dark philosophy serves as a powerful indictment of the human condition challenging readers to confront the harsh truths of existence without flinching in a world plagued by uncertainty and of course suffering his work offers a glim- glimmer of solace amidst the darkness reminding us of the enduring power of the human spirit to stay persistent in the face of hardships as mccarthy himself once wrote the point is there ain't no point and yet in the bleak landscapes of his fiction 
we find a strange and haunting beauty that lingers long after the final page is turned.